Malaysian Prime Minister Ismail Sabiyakob drove across the causeway for an official visit on Monday and was greeted by his Singapore counterpart Lee Hsien Long at the two countries' checkpoint to mark the reopening of their border after nearly two years shuttered due to the pandemic. The two leaders said that the limits on land border crossings will be progressively relaxed later this month to include general travelers and other modes of transportation than buses. We are all watching anxiously to see what the Omicron variant of the COVID-19 does and how it will behave. But even if Omicron disrupts these plans, our goal will still be to have more open borders between Singapore and Malaysia. And I'm quite confident that after some time, we will be able to make further progress. Prime Minister of Malaysia. Today, we reach another significant milestone in our cooperation. This morning, I crossed Tambak Johor Causeway and was received by PM Lee at Woodlands Checkpoint. This is itself, this in itself is very significant. It symbolizes the reopening of our borders through the launching of BTL, vaccinated travel lane. And simultaneously, we also launch VTL Air. Meanwhile, over 350,000 people crossed the causeway bridge that connects the two countries daily before it was shut, with mostly Malaysians working in Singapore due to a favorable exchange rate. A total of 1,440 fully vaccinated passengers on board 16 buses coming from each direction will currently be allowed to cross daily. Vaccinated travel lane or BTL travelers must be citizens, permanent residents, or long-term pass holders of the country they wish to enter. Fully vaccinated BTL travelers will be tested for coronavirus, but will not have to quarantine after arriving at their destination. It's so real, so real. doesn't feel real at all, because it's been a while not coming home. And then the process of coming home is also a bit hiccup here and there. I have been feeling very nervous uh, until I step foot here. <laughs> I'm lucky this BTR open so I can save a lot of money. Otherwise, the last year, uh, I need to quarantine 14 days Malaysia, 14 days Singapore, and cost me total about 2,000 plus already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's very lucky this time. Both countries will also launch a VTL flights between Changi Airport and Kuala Lumpur's International Airport.